Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. It's time to tell Adobe what you think. Shout out goes to Jeff Millis for suggesting this. Uh, it wasn't even on my radar, but he convinced me that this definitely is something worth talking about. So what are we talking about? Now, Adobe's a giant multi-billion dollar company, and you might think they're too big for you and me, but they're not. I used to work for Adobe for 17 and a half years, and I know that the feedback they get from customers is not only listened to, but it's actually put in spreadsheets, and it's put up on big screens during meetings. So it makes an impact. Your voice is very important, now more than ever. So Adobe wants to streamline your voice. So they've given you a link right in the help menu for you to tell Adobe what you think. Here's Premiere Pro. Go to the help menu, right in here, provide feedback. This takes you right to not only Adobe uh, user voice, but it takes you to the Premiere Pro section. And in here you can tell them if you have an idea, what's your feedback? And it's always a good idea when you're, when you're giving an idea, um, you're talking to engineers and engineers don't think like you's and me's. They're on a different level and they need it to be simple. Don't tell a whole story how, you know, you were talking to your brother and none of that. I wanna be able to do this, okay? Very simple. I want to be able to, um, for instance, I, I would like to be able to move more than one point on masks in in uh, uh, Premiere Pro in the in the uh, drawing shapes in Essential Graphics. I would like to be able to move multiple points in the Essential Graphics. That's what I want to do. Number two, what currently happens. Right now, when I select a second point, it deselects the first point. What would I like it to do? I would like to be able to marquee drag around or range select around multiple points and then be able to move that with my arrow uh, cursor or with the uh, um, arrow buttons on the keyboard or with my mouse. So three simple things. It doesn't work now. What are you trying to do? And the way it should work. That makes all the difference in the world. And it's really simple to break down what your what feature you're talking about. So here's Premiere Pro, and there's other um, people that have got other ideas, and you can read what some of their ideas are and uh, see how they work. So that's Premiere Pro. So Media Encoder, After Effects, in Audition, and Character Animator all have provide feedback in the help menu. Pretty easy. Um, another one that I like to use, which is Illustrator is a little bit different, but there is still a place in the help menu where you can submit bug or feature request. Actually, Premiere Pro, this is what it used to say. So it takes you to the same uh, user voice, but Illustrator's user voice, and you can give uh, feedback in here. And it, hey, if you're a video editor and, and uh, you're, you want something, uh, Illustrator to do something, then tell the Illustrator folks they want to listen. Um, okay, so that's all of those. Now let's go, <laughs> let's go look at Photoshop. Okay, <laughs> help, uh, okay, uh, nothing, nothing, nada. No <laughs> it doesn't mean they don't want your voice, it just means Photoshop has tons of users and if they opened that up, they would get the, they would get way too many. They they already have a huge amount of beta testers for Photoshop, and they've got a really good community of, uh, you know, working those things out. So that's providing feedback. I, I don't think you should do that a lot. You should do that when you have something really important. And if you've got something nagging, like I do with selecting multiple points, then you let them know very succinctly. And there's one other thing that's worth mentioning, and that's the Adobe forums on community.adobe.com. And you can see there's a whole bunch of applications that you can pick here and jump in. And uh, well, let's grab the Premiere Pro one. 
click view and there's like 53,000 uh, conversations going on. So lots of conversations. Uh, you can filter based on what's resolved. You can look at this um, as the latest or what have you. Um, you can um, search up in the top for certain things in here and you might find uh, like-minded people that are asking for the same kind of thing. And uh, also remember, you can now download betas of uh, a lot of these applications now right from the Creative Cloud desktop application. And there's lots of, of uh, information here about the betas and what's going on. So there is a really big community out there. Um, and, uh, you know, jump in, find out uh, what people are saying, uh, post your own information. You'd be surprised at uh, the kind of interaction you get. I recognize, uh, you know, former colleagues of mine, they chime in and these are, a lot of times these guys are really smart engineers or computer scientists that uh, jump in to clarify a point and uh, and it's really helpful it just is great so provide feedback provide any bugs that, that you think are, are uh, legitimate bugs uh, join uh, some of these forums and uh, get your questions answered and inspire more community involvement in the whole Adobe ecosystem hey if you're new to video revealed uh, take a moment and subscribe you want to support us some more you can do that through our store on videoreveal.com slash shop. You can donate once or monthly any amount. There's a bunch of free stuff there. There's stuff you can buy and uh, lots of ways that you can enhance what you're doing in Adobe applications. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to make Adobe listen to what you have to say.